Ursula von Reidingsbard, Entz Pence, 1997. Cedar and Graphite. I visited the De Cordova in Lincoln, Massachusetts, which is a sculpture and contemporary art museum. And on exhibit there was a show titled Paint Things Beyond the Stretcher. This exhibit highlights the recent blurring in contemporary art between paint and sculpture. This piece is Ankle Biter, Summer Wheat, 2011. Allison Shulnuck, Film, from 2009. Wilson Lawrence, Grade, 2012. Katie Bell, Blind Impact, 2013. This is a site-specific structure that she constructed from a pile of detritus at the museum. Kate Gilmore, Like This Before, 2013. This is a chair that was in a video created by Cheryl Donegan called Kiss My Royal Irish Ass, 1993. And this is the first time the chair itself has been publicly displayed. The video, in the video, uh, Cheryl sits on paint and then creates clovers, then sits in the chair and is served a Guinness stout by a young man. Cheryl Donegan, Head, 1993. These next pieces are by Jessica Stockholder. This piece is JS 492, 2009. constructed of a shower curtain and other found objects. This next piece is Kissing the Wall number 5 with Yellow from 1990. This piece is considered by the docent and the curators to be the seminal piece of this, of this contemporary art period where paint came off the wall. And finally, this piece, titled JS 462, from 2008, which has as its foundation of sculpture a painting bought at TJ Maxx.
Alex DeCourt, After Dark, 2012. Alex DeCourt, Blood Brothers, 2012. These are all sorts of objects placed on a wire grid. James Hyde, Lounge, 1998. Analia Saban, The Painting Ball, 48 Abstract, 42 Landscapes, 23 Still Lives, 11 Portraits, 2 Religious, 1 Nude, 2005. Franklin Evans, Paint Thinks, 2013. This is a site-specific installation, and I showed you the doorway before I um, took the camera inside. I spent a lot of time in this room because I felt it pretty much, it, it felt to me that it embodied the exhibit most of all. I felt while I was inside, there was audio recording about um, paint theory and painting. And just being in the room really felt as though I was engaged and part of a painting being created as though this canvas was being stretched, um, the ideas were being formed, the placement was being considered. Um, you know, there's books, there's tape, there's canvas, there's collage. Um, there's also pieces from other work. And this to me really embodied the, the idea of paint and sculpture being together, but it felt more activated than um, looking at the sculpture that was part of the other exhibit.